Hello everybody, Blender52 here. Last night I was thinking to myself, how cool would it be to create an add-on that would allow you to have composition overlays within your camera viewport? Now not knowing anything about Blender add-ons, I jumped onto Google to have a quick search. And to my amazement, not only does this already exist, but it's actually a default setting within Blender. Mind blown. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First things first, make sure that your camera is the selected object within your scene. We're then going to go down here to your camera tab, click, scroll down to a viewport display, click, and you'll see here we've got composition guides. So if we open up that, we then have all of these little selections that we can make that literally have things like the rule of thirds, that breaks your canvas up into thirds or the golden ratio, which is a ratio of 0 0.618. We have center, center diagonal, and we've got both harmonious triangle and golden triangle going in inverse options, depending if you've got a landscape or square camera setting. So composition principles in general, while not complicated, is a subject which requires more understanding and learning. So while these composition guides can certainly help you, I would ask you to go out and research each of these to better understand their use and principles in rendering your final shot. Okay, and as one last little added bonus feature, I've got another little tip here that I also literally just discovered that will help you framing your shot and when working in cycles, it will actually help you cut out a lot of the noise. And that is this little setting over here called Pass Part Out. If we open that up, you will see this little opacity dragger. And what that does is it literally darkens or lightens the frame around our camera. So I turn that up to 100 and you can now only see what is in your camera frame, which I know will certainly help me in seeing exactly what will be part of my final render. Okay, so that's it for this short little video. I hope that these little tips on composition guides will help you in creating your renders in the future. I know that they'll certainly help me and my mind was blown when I discovered them. And I'm just glad that I now won't have to go and learn how to create my own Blender add-on. Thanks for watching, this is Blender52.